price of certain prescription drugs has led many of us to seek out cheaper generic alternatives. Same benefits, lower cost, at least in theory, except maybe you've noticed over the past year or so many generic drug prices have skyrocketed. Our report tonight from NBC's Kate Snow. Cindy Jackson takes about a dozen pills every day for her heart. Ten are generics, including one drug she started in May. When we went to the drugstore to pick it up and they said there will be $398, I was like, oh, no. A year before, that drug cost about $85. And the digoxin to regulate her heart rate used to cost her $5 a month. Now it's three times as much. My husband had to get a second job on the weekends to help pay for the medicine. She's not alone. Nearly half of generic medications increased in price in a year, some dramatically. One migraine medication spiked 700% in six months. A common antibiotic up more than 8,000%. Jackson's local pharmacist sees it every day. It seems like every other week you're seeing some products, well-used products, that are just jumping for no reason. After complaints from constituents, Congressman Elijah Cummings helped organize a hearing. What's driving the cost up do you know me. I believe a lot of it's me first of all let me make it clear it's not all the generic companies but there are others buying up a company or buying up the drug and then they turn around and say okay we can make a lot of money on this drug not true says Ralph knees president of the generic pharmaceutical association there have been some increases but if you put them in context you're still basically talking pennies compared to very expensive brand medicines if a medicine has gone from 34 cents a day to seven dollars and 46 cents a day that's that's a big increase for people how does that happen it happens sometimes because there can be drug shortages there could be supply problems around the world. There could be a whole bunch of market forces. Market forces Cindy Jackson can't control. Yeah. For medicine, she has to take. And you can't pick and choose what medicine you're going to take when it comes to the heart. With her husband working catering jobs on the weekends, they're paying the bills for now. Kate Snow, NBC News, Washington. We're back.